all dogs can trace their ancestry back to the wolf. So if all dogs came from one species, then how did they end up to be so many different shapes and sizes? When we first domesticated dogs, we bred out some of the wild behaviors. And this process accidentally led to new characteristics. Colored coats, curly tails and floppy ears. Add a few thousand years of breeding from the dogs we love the most, and you have the huge variety that we see today. In theory, any dog can mate with any other dog. But practicalities get in the way. If humans were as different as a pug and a St. Bernard, then our heights would range from 65 centimetres to 10 metres tall. But there's one thing that just about every dog does. Bark. So why do they bark? Where does it come from? Wolves don't bark. They howl. Some scientists think that barking has evolved just for our benefit. So does this mean that they're talking to us? And if so, what are they saying? They seem to understand our words. Dig, dig. <laughs> Come on, speak. Good boy. But can dogs really talk to us by barking? I don't think anybody ever understands a dog. If they understand you, I don't think you ever understand a dog. Let's see if these owners can understand what different barks mean. Put them on the dog. She'd probably be able to tell them to better than me. OK. Can't hear a thing. It's, un it's unhappy. It's good. It, it wants attention. It's, it's frustrated. I visualise him in an open space on a lead and he wants to be off and to go to somewhere or somebody. It sounds quite a happy bark. It's, it sounds as if it's playing. To me, that sounds like you're just about to throw a ball for the dog and there's that level of excitement. It's running all around you. It's been identified that dogs can communicate at least six different emotions to us through their barks. <laughs> That's why I know what you're thinking. Well, it just proves, doesn't it, that dogs can talk by barking. <laughs>